his full name? Santana, Santana Reed. It was just unbelievable. And I'm just sitting there holding him like, I just really had a baby in the car. Like, nobody's gonna believe the story. I thought I can drive with contractions, trying to make it to do this, do that. I just really had a whole game plan in the back of my head and didn't get nowhere. And I called 911 and they were like, mom, undress, lay your seat back. That was the last words I heard and I just remember pushing the baby out. I think I was in shock, like, that this really just happened. We got the call and there was a, a baby in the process of being born, you know, on the turnpike. I remember walking up to the car, asking you, are you having a medical emergency by any chance? And you like looked at me and then looked down and then I looked down and I was like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Very grateful and thankful for you. Thank you. The hospital, oh gosh, was just phenomenal when we walked in. I remember that much. Just seeing them on my left and right, and they were like, Mom, congratulations. I just, it was just like a relief. We get called in advance from the ambulance saying, hey, we have someone who delivered this baby and we're on the way. So that's why we have people meet it, waiting to meet when she arrives to see her right away making sure that the placenta is delivered properly, that her bleeding is appropriately managed and recovering well, as well as the baby. She did a great job and was able to move on to the standard postpartum care that we would provide if you had had your baby here. And no, it, it, with everybody involved, it couldn't have went any smoother. For someone to find me three o'clock in the morning on the side of the road, oh God, I hope I don't start crying. It's just no words will describe how I truly feel because just to see someone like there just meant everything. God told them to 